Hey guys, so welcome to a new reading vlog. Uh, today it is technically Saturday the 11th of June. It is really pretty outside. I am working 7 to 3 pretty much all weekend and Monday I have a dentist appointment. Not excited for that one, but you know, has to be done. I was supposed to go technically in January. Got a weird reaction in my throat. I think I've talked to you about this. And then I, they just... I told them like I'm not sure if it's COVID so I'm just gonna stay home and now it's the appointment on the 13th on Monday. I am not excited. I have two cavities. I think they said like between teeth so they're really small but I still need needles in my mouth and I hate needles. I think you know. And then I have my cleaning after. And then after my face is frozen I have to work at 7. My appointment is at 1.40 so hopefully I'll have time to like unfreeze and talk like a human being because I work on the phone. But anyways, um, welcome <laughs> to my chaotic life. Uh, so what I'm reading this week is going to be Book Lovers by Emily Henry, which is about a girl that's a literary agent. She has a strain, a little bit strain, a relationship with her sister. Um, they haven't been close as they used to when they were living together. And her sister decided to book this one month long trip she is pregnant, her sister, and Nora, the Liberty agent, um, says, fine, I'll go with you. And um, she technically, like, booked a bunch of stuff they're going to do. Like, she has a list. She is planned. She is my kind of person because I plan everything. And it's technically about her finding true love kind of thing. She wants her to have, like, a small town love story if you watch a lot of Hallmark's movie technically what her sister wants. I'm excited more about the sister bonding um, than the actual romance, um, but it seems good. And then what I'm currently reading like right now is Good Boy by Serena Bowen and Elle Kennedy. I am like uh, 34 pages in and it's hilarious. Um, it, I, you know, I've talked to you about this, but I finished Us and Him and Epic. So now I am going to Good Boy. And um, this is technically following Jamie's sister. Uh, she is a wedding planner and she does a lot of things. But now she's thinking of going to nursing and it's just a lot. And there's other boy in Jamie's, well, technically Wes, Wesley's uh, hockey team. Uh, he is a, like, you know those douchebags that think they're awesome and they make jokes about themselves and others and just feels like they're always funny. But technically, I just, I see him having his heart on his sleeve, really being, my cat is really crying right now. <laughs> Goku! So, I'm just excited about this one. So, anyways, I'm going to read this, I'm going to read this this week, um, but I'm going to let you go. I'm going to go read, and I'll update you, hopefully, this week. Bye! Currently reading this, and I'm in the, if you've read it, and no... I'm on page 170, and I'm really loving it. I'm very impressed. I was not loving it as much yesterday, but now it's more of the... It's very slow burn kind of thing, and I'm enjoying it. So I'm going to continue reading it outside. I am trying to tan, sort of. I'm under shade right now because it's so hot. It's 25, and no wind, no clouds, nothing. And I was sweating from it, so I moved here. But anyways, back to reading. Hey guys, so welcome back. And I just wanted to talk about uh, book lovers. I started it, well, I read that one chapter from the last vlog, uh, two, two vlogs ago. And then I did start a little bit when I went to the dentist. And I still have sensitivity to the two, literally cold air hurts. It's horrible but uh i did start reading this one um when i was in the dentist and i'm enjoying it right now i'm on page 72 i'm gonna try to read a little bit today if i don't forget it's like my brain goes kind of crazy when i'm working so i sometimes just decide to watch random tv play my games on my phone um i did do my nails uh, yesterday I'm trying to like get them really like round um, but then I noticed one chipped so anyways <laughs> um, it's actually really sunny outside 
I'm in my bedroom because I only work at 3 and it's 12.56, so it technically it's... Uh, I still have a few hours <laughs> before work, so I'm going to read a little bit and just a bit. I was eating some Aero chocolate because it's gluten-free. <laughs> There's not a lot of chocolate. Everything has gluten. It's ridiculous once you realize how much wheat is in everything. But anyways, um, this week I'm working 3 to 11 and then I'm, my boyfriend's going to a party um, which is three hours away with his where he grew up. So technically uh, I'm going to be home alone for the weekend, but I was supposed to be off. But decided, like, without having my brain go crazy because I always freak out when he leaves. It's a, it's something that I need to work on. But I decided to uh, pick up some overnight shifts. So I'm going to work overnight and off on Monday. So I'm going to have extra hours. And next pay is technically, like, I have a pay this Friday, which I'm going to pay bills. But next pay, I have no bills because it's like a three pay in one month. Yeah, I am, um, first of all, I have two things I want to buy. I'll put a picture here. Uh, one is a stroller for a cat, because <laughs> I'm a cat lady. And then um, another one is like a tent you can put outside to put your cats in. So I'm probably going to buy that. Um, should probably buy some clothes, maybe a few books. But I'm excited for, it's just fun to have like a clear pay. Um, but if ever you have any like suggestion for tooth sensitivity like i got this fix uh, i had a cavity between two teeth he looked i was supposed to get like a cavity fix down here and apparently there was none he checked it, he's like oh there's nothing there it's like yes so anyways um but yeah and i decided to not get my implants done so i'm gonna just wait for uh, i'm gonna get a night guard retainer and that's the only thing i have left for my teeth like if in, I think it was like when I was 25, I'm 31, so like six years ago, uh, I had so much shit to do on my teeth, and I finally have done everything. I go for my cleaning every six months, and it's just been uh, a real roller coaster for my teeth. So I'm just proud that I finally took care of them. That just I was very, very terrified. And did I have a little panic attack a little bit, feeling like my heartbeat was gonna come out of my chest? Yes, yes I did the other day. Cause he had to put a needle up here and it literally, like I could feel this, but I couldn't feel this. So every time I was breathing, it was like such a weird sensation. Anyways, very confusing. Anyways, my acne is getting better right now. It's just more scars. I'm getting one right here and I think I got, yeah, right here. Um, but my antibiotics are working, I think. Uh, but yeah, so I'm going to go read this. Until now, I'm liking it. Um, like I said, I'm only this much into it. So I'm going to continue reading and I'll let you know what I think about it. Also, I'm supposed to get a book today. But if I do, I'll show it to you and unbox it with you. So I'll talk about it. Bye. Hey guys, so happy Friday. I just got my pay. I just ordered three books, so you'll see those next week. Um, my cats are sleeping on my desk. Um, there's another one right here. <laughs> my boyfriend actually left for the weekend to see his, one of his friend's birthday. So they're doing a party uh, three hours away. So I'm home alone for the whole weekend. Like I'm cleaning. <laughs> I just feel like when I'm home alone, I need to clean. So yeah, that's currently what I was doing. I'm working in an hour or less. And um, I just asked my work to switch shift because I hate working mornings and I want evenings. So that's what I currently do. So I'm just getting my book lover book. Just one sec. So yeah, book lover. Book lover is... I feel like when it's in it, it's in it. When it's not, it's very boring. Um, I feel like the balance is not there from, I wish it would have been like 
uh, you could hear from Nora and then you could hear from Libby, her sister. Um, I feel like her sister is just like in the back burner and I've heard that at the end it's like you don't hear anything about the love story and it's just about her and her sister. So I feel like if you would have had both perspective, it would have been better. I am, I'm not even done, but that's what I'm thinking right now. It's 184 pages. Um, if you've read it, skinny dipping, fucking hot, man. It was good. That part, she is good at it. But I feel like her sister is just in the background. And I feel like she's going through, like, she's pregnant, not talking to her husband. She has kids for a full month out. Like, I don't, I feel like it's a little bit, like, there's stuff missing. There's balance is not there, like I said. Until now, like, just because I'm enjoying it, it's like a three stars. And this is my first Emily Henry book. I'm very surprised at how bad it is in a way because a lot of people that I talk to praise her as an author. So I hope it's gonna turn around, but for me, three stars, not more for now. I'm half halfway in. So I'm gonna try to read later today. Um, like I said, Home Alone, I actually like have time on myself. Um, it's not that I'm usually busy, it's just that I like to please others. So if I, f I never do what I, ugh, it's so weird to say, I never do what I want because I think the other person wants me to hang out with them, but at the end they don't want to hang, we do the same, we both talk about this, me and my boyfriend, we do the same thing. He won't do what he wants because he wants to like hang out with me, but in my head I'm like, okay, so I need to hang out with him because that's what he wants, but at the end we just want to hang out like with our own shit very confusing i know so anyways i'm gonna work soon i made some spaghetti well i made my own homemade sauce i'll show you it's that's the sauce and then don't mind the mess but and that's the macaroni i did so we'll have meals for tonight and tomorrow and then that's about it so I'm going to go and continue reading this, try to figure it out if I actually like it. Um, and then I'll talk to you when I get the books on Monday, but um, I have a few, I might finish it. If I do, I'll finish the vlog. If not, I'll continue it. I did, like I showed you, I'm pretty sure I showed you that I got Stay by Serena Bowen and L. Kennedy. And for Stay, um... It's about the single guy, like, there's one guy in the hockey team, uh, it's the same, like, it continues with uh, the characters from him, and Us, and Epic, and Good Boy, so this is Swag's uh, series, so this is about, there's a guy in their hockey uh, team that is technically getting divorced, because he was never there, he always, you know, works, and his wife wants a divorce so it's about him and meeting a girl that helps him kind of so i'm probably gonna start this as well but i'm just into romance right now it's ridiculous kind of crazy a little bit but anyways so i'm gonna go read and i'll try to update you later bye hey guys so how are we today uh it's technically 5 57 a.m i'm one hour out I'm almost done my work. I've been reading this all night and I finally finished it. I have a lot of thoughts. Um, as you saw, I did like, I wasn't sure about this. I wanted to give it three stars. I have to go back on my word. I was wrong because I almost throw, like I was, you know those moments you have butterflies of a book and you feel like, oh my god, I can't believe he did that or she did that. And then you just feel like, ah, you want to throw everything away? That was me just earlier. Like, I gave it 4.5 just because I still feel like um, I would have loved two's perspective and not just one. But, like, so many, like, weird things happened that I did not expect. Um... There, there's just so many there's many things i would want to talk about but i can't because it would be spoilers um but just know it's 4.5 stars almost a five star the only thing is it felt a little bit odd um but the romance was so good and they're like they respect each other he's there for her she's there for him it's just like so good and like 
her sister and her and her their relationship is just uh, like I, it's funny how uh, I said I, it felt like a Hallmark movie and at the end not the alleged acknowledgement it says a oh, book lover and it literally uh i love hallmark movie so she actually based it out of it so i just love this like this is definitely um a good old like 4.5 5 star like this is gonna be a reread eventually whenever i have time for it i've been reading a lot lately um but yeah it's so exciting so i'm gonna go get the book so you guys know that I bought this and then I bought this and I've talked to you about what this is about, but good boy. Um, I know I explained to you that I had I was like 30 pages in. I did finish it. I just forgot to talk to you about it. So Good Boy by Serena Boy and L. Kennedy. This is the story of Blake. Blake is a goofy, um, he likes to laugh a lot, has his heart on his sleeve, but he doesn't really like he doesn't want to share his feelings a lot, but he he cares for everyone. He will tell you he loves you right away when he does. He's a great friend and he's just such a good guy. Like he is like the best friend that you have. Like just like if you're down, he's going to tell you you're hot and you're awesome and just stop like crying. He is such a good guy. And then the story is about him. Uh, he kind of like something happened between him and um, uh, Jamie's uh, sister and Jamie is from the series him us and epic so it's more about him here um, and it's just like so like I, I, I was sad that I finished and the next one is not about him like that's how bad I love this book and Jamie's sister is a wedding planner. Sometimes she likes to make jewelry. Sometimes she has an Etsy shop. Like she's, she doesn't know what she wants. Um, until they, like he kind of, so Jamie, her brother, something happened to him and she kind of uh, want to be in nursing school now. Um, and Blake really encouraged her and everything. And it's, it's so good. First of all, it's in Toronto and like, I'm from Canada, okay, so I know a lot of things, kind of. There's stuff in here that makes me laugh because it's obviously, like, they don't live in Toronto. I don't think so because it makes no sense. But anyways, um, certainly the part of, you know, the Canada version of Starbucks. Like, we have Starbucks. We're not in the boonies, you know. <laughs> anyways, good boy. Very good. I gave it five stars. I already read it. I finished it like Wednesday, I think, or something like that. And I just completely forgot to let you know. But their relationship in here is so good. Don't be afraid of smut if you want to read these. Like, they're fucking like every 20 pages. Okay? <laughs> so, very good. And, um, yeah, so, so good. Also, uh, today, which we are the 20th, uh, I, no, on the 19th. So Sunday, I receive Top Secret. Uh, this is same thing, Serena Bowen and L. Kennedy. Um, I think it's about a Teresa. <laughs> it's a smut thing. Um, it just says, lobster, short, 21, jock, secretly a science geek, hot at AF. Um, and... It's for her birthday. My girlfriend wants a threesome. Uh, so he goes on an app. Kind of finds someone that could kind of work. And it's about them having a threesome. Um, I'm, I don't know who the characters are. But it says here. Best selling author. Return with their first male to male romance in three years. So there's something here. That I'm very interested in. That I'm not sure. Like, I even look at the name of the characters and they don't, like, click any bells. Like, I'm not sure who it's about. But I'm going to read this very, very soon. I have... I didn't get the three books. I only got the two. So I'll talk to you when I get them. I'm supposed to get them today. So, um, but it will be in my next vlog. Um, but I do want to say thank you so much for being here and continue watching my videos. Um, but yeah, so this is 4.5 stars. And then Good Boy is 
five stars um and i'm really into a romance kick so we'll see what i pick up next i have no clue but i'll talk to you in my next vlog thanks so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe comment down below and like if you liked it and um ask me anything or i i have a few videos coming up that i'm planning on filming i just need the time to film <laughs> but i will uh talk to you later bye